How to sleep in. If you've racked up a sleep debt or just want a deliciously late morning, the answer is a long, deep sleep. If you disrupt your sleep with the wrong evening activities or bedroom setup, you'll wake up less refreshed and have a hard time falling back asleep for that extra hour of comfort. Encouraging deep sleep. Block morning sunlight. It's much easier to sleep in a dark room. Close your blinds or curtains, and keep your door shut to block light from the rest of the house. You will be sleeping during brighter hours than usual, so do what you can to make up for it. If your curtains are thin, try slinging a blanket over your curtain rod. Track your sleep cycles. Ever go from tired to wide awake in 10 minutes? This happens when your body moves to the next part of its sleep cycle. Typically, the cycle lasts about three hours. If you track the times you feel most tired, you can go to bed at that time to get better sleep. Set an alarm for a time when you usually feel awake, and there's a better chance that you'll avoid morning grogginess. Adjust the temperature and bedding. Most people sleep best in a cool room, kept at roughly 65 F18C. Adjust the thermostat and bedclothes until you are comfortable. You should be warm enough to fall asleep comfortably, but not so warm that you sweat or kick off the blankets in the night. Try warmer or cooler pajamas, sleeping without pajamas, or using a hot water bottle. If you usually shower right before bed, try showering an hour in advance instead. This gives you time to cool down. Play white noise or relaxing music. Noise can make it difficult to fall asleep, or lead to a restless night. Mask it by running a fan, or a radio set to static. Some people enjoy falling asleep to relaxing music. Consider staying up late. This will make you tired in the morning, but it's a risky strategy. If you have trouble sleeping in, there's the chance you'll get up anyway and end up with a nasty sleep debt. Spend time outdoors during daylight hours. Exposure to daylight earlier in the day can help keep your body synchronized with the day-night cycle. Outdoor exercise may be particularly effective, so you don't go to bed full of excess energy. While some people can exercise right before bed, many people find it difficult to sleep until they've cooled down. While some people can exercise right before bed, many people find it difficult to sleep until they've cooled down. Treat sleeping pills with caution. Sleeping pills will knock you out, but overuse can lead to addiction or an inability to sleep without them. Many sleeping medications lead to serious side effects or allergic reactions in some users. Use these only for short-term problems. If you have serious trouble sleeping, visit a doctor and ask about more effective medication. Melatonin is a safer option, but not as powerful. It's usually most effective at fixing jet lag or another disrupted sleep schedule. It may not be your best bet for a one-time sleep in. Most over-the-counter sleeping medications are antihistamines, such as diphenhydramine or doxylamine, sometimes combined with painkillers or alcohol. Side effects such as next-day drowsiness or dizziness are common, and it's unclear whether these are even effective. Prescription-strength drugs are usually benzodiazepines. These can lead to severe addiction and withdrawal symptoms, and will only work while you are taking them. Most other prescription-strength drugs have not been around long enough to gather complete data on effectiveness or side effects. Talk to your doctor about Zaliflon Sonata, Zolpidem Ambien, and Esopiclone Lunesta and ask for recent information. Melatonin is a safer option, but not as powerful. It's usually most effective at fixing jet lag or another disrupted sleep schedule. It may not be your best bet for a one-time sleep in. Most over-the-counter sleeping medications are antihistamines, such as diphenhydramine or doxylamine, sometimes combined with painkillers or alcohol. Side effects such as next-day drowsiness or dizziness are common, and it's unclear whether these are even effective. Prescription strength drugs are usually benzodiazepines. These can lead to severe addiction and withdrawal symptoms, and will only work while you are taking them. Most other prescription strength drugs have not been around long enough to gather complete data on effectiveness or side effects. Talk to your doctor about Zaliflon Sonata, Zolpidem Ambien, and Esopiclone Lunesta and ask for recent information.